the good point of Blender is so artistic centric. It's, it's, it's thinking about the artists that use this, this software. It feels, it feels great. It feels like as if everyone has been here working together for months already. Yeah, well, I, I'm still like uh, the architect of the Blender 2.5 project. I defined lots of uh, big pictures and flows, how things relate, what is a screen, what is a button or an area, how do all those things relate. And my role was to try to, to get everybody understanding it, because I want really people to understand the limitations and the possibilities of the design, and then work within that to make a number of um, decisions so that we can continue working on it for at least five years in the future. And together with Ton and Campbell, uh, together we wrote most of the Blender 2.5 code, and um, you know, 2.8 is kind of a similar project, and we're continuing a lot of the projects that were done there, so I'm here to help understand the decisions that were made then and you know things that we thought you know, could be improved and so on. Having the developers right next to you uh, when you're talking about a feature, hey, what, where did this happen? Why is there this button here and why is it? I don't know, we even talked about the UI alignment where we zoomed in all the way to Blender and why this has happened. Just... I'm quite surprised how well this kind of design session works because uh, I'm used to UI discussions going nowhere for a long time. But if you limit the amount of people, put them in the same room, in the end, after intensive discussion, we find a place that we can agree on. And that's something really useful, and we still have developers there who can discuss the technical stuff. Because then you make sure that you don't end up with something, with some tool which is only usable by coders, and then they run up and it's like, hey, yeah, why it's so unusable. If we can survive at this group of 12, then I think we can end up with something that will also work for a group of a thousand or a million Blender users. Whenever we think about a new feature for Blender, we always think about the artist first, period systematically looking over everyone's shoulders. So here we have animators, modelers, layout artists, texture painters, and see how do they work and try to really get a good grasp of their usage of Blender. I worked already on a few open web projects. So having that experience with working with the multiple objects and the complex scenes and the linking and the, the weird, most dirty secrets of Blender, um, that, that helps because we want to make this new blender, but also keep a lot of what we have now, which is really good. It's just a matter of organizing it. My focus is a better customization and a better layout for the, uh, for the workspaces. I want to make it so that when you, once you switch workflows or workspaces that you don't get disoriented. That, for example, you can stay in the same 3D viewport with the same, uh, your same settings. Well, I think the core design problem for this workshop was the new layer system. It started with a simple idea to allow unlimited layers and naming, but it, it was expanded to also touch other areas and be much more powerful than usually a layer system is. So this is a point that we discussed a lot because it will be something entirely new. It will combine what's render layers did up to this point and what the regular layers did in a single system. And then all of a sudden on top of the layers we also mentioned the overrides. It's like, yeah, that's completely new new concept in Blender. After that we tried to, we, we sit down with, with uh, Bastian, Brecht and Dalai trying to think, okay, so what are the technical decisions we need to make here to back up? Everything we need, we, 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 we came up with a kind of solution from the workflow point of view. What's the most optimal way to, to implement this override? Dependency graph, like where they're stored and how user interacts with this, and what's 
what's the the limitations of the of the system because there's always going to be some limitations otherwise you know this something really theoretical which you can never implement i think there is a a more clear picture of where we as a you know collective group of people want blunder to go um you know in 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 the big sense as far as like uh, basically 2.8 it's just like we came up with some maybe some restricted proposal how to push things forward but in a really realistic way so when people agree on that workflow uh, what we want to achieve with blender is meant to be something we want people to handle themselves so as a user you can decide to use a touchpad or a laptop or a three button mouse or whatever combination of input devices and blender should be working very well for that and for new users and for uh, more experienced users i think we have a pretty clear direction and agreements i mean afterwards of course we find out that there's stuff we didn't think about and then maybe we have to redo some stuff but i think Generally, I think, yeah, it's really helpful for aligning everyone. Then just continue the discussion, because, of course, we we only scratched the surface of the how the workspaces will look like. Uh, we are now in the lucky situation that we do have a lot of support from sponsors and, of course, from Blender Institute to hire developers, and we can work full-time on those. And my expectation is that we can start on that early next year, so we can still spend uh, a month on discussions and refining all the designs and then start to work in January and have something presentable this summer as the first alpha and I think we can have it done by the end of next year. I feel very happy to be to live this moment of the Blender history, the future of Blender history. And I think it's a lot of ideas, discussion, there's a different point of view, but it's so constructive. So I, I, I like this, this, this kind of environment.